Okay, so continuing um, on the next um, object we're going to see is called random. Random is something computer can do really well. Uh, so let's look at the random. Now, um, look at this metro 1000, random 10. So these are called the arguments. Okay, argument is something that makes um, how this metro behaves or the how the random behaves. So this is called argument. Metro has one argument, random has one argument also. And now on the top of the random, uh, what does it do? Okay, let's look at the help file. It says, uh, generate, random number, generate a random number. So on the top, it says, causes random output. So in the help file, it had a bang on it. I went too fast, but anyway, so it goes like this. And then uh, you can connect a number box on the bottom. And then now watch um, out of the edit mode. Every time I click on it, it gives you a random number. And be careful, random 10 means doesn't mean 1 to 10, it means 0 to 9. Um, originally, this program was made by a mathematician, so learn to love the zero, as I'm told. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so uh, you don't get a 10, you get a 9 at the uh, see, zero. I, got, I saw the zero, I have not seen the 9 yet there. You, oh, there you go, I got the 9. Okay. So there is a 9. Now let's make some noise. Um, I'll just show you some um, simple things. This is a object called Make Note. We're looking at MIDI, uh, musical instrument digital interface that's built in um, your computer. Um, generate a note on note off pair. Don't worry about that. And it takes two arguments, like random has one, emitter has one, make note has two. First argument is the uh, velocity. It's a MIDI um, value, which means that the smallest, the softest is 0, and loudest is 127. Horrible number. And then the second number is the duration, it's like 100 milliseconds, pretty short note. On the top, you, ha you have three inlets. It says pitch, velocity, which means the loudness, and the third one is duration of the sound. And uh, on the bottom, pitch output and velocity output, the loudness output. 0 or one, 0 to 127 and then you need something called note out note hat, out only has three inlets transmit MIDI note messages so what you do pitch velocity the, the dynamics and the channel so everybody makes this mistake uh, pitch to pitch velocity to velocity not this guy not the MIDI channel but the middle guy which is velocity so Everybody makes this mistake. Uh, don't connect right there, but in the middle. Okay. And now let's connect a number into it, and then get out of the edit mode. So this is the piano sound. It's a default sound. So um, there is something called the MIDI uh, MIDI note number. So this is a protocol uh, MIDI note number. There is a um, Right here, we just saw the number. There's something called a slider, and there's a little triangle in the bottom, like a pull-down menu, and you can get this thing called key slider. It's like a piano key. Uh, you can actually type into it, key slider, and then you get the same thing. So you can go ahead and connect it, and I think this is the middle C, so if you type on it, it gives you 60, that's a MIDI note number. In fact, you can change the look of it um, by going to something called the inspector. Everybody, every single object in Max has an inspector, which you can get it by clicking on that aforementioned yellow uh, triangle, inspector, here. Or you can highlight it and command I, and you get this uh, sidebar like this. And it might look like this, might look, look like that, but go just to the all. Okay. So now I am an inspector of a number box, and on top it says decimal, and you can change this to MIDI uh, C4, MIDI note number, and then now it's C4, see? So C4, C3, right? So this is identical to the MIDI number, right? These are the same thing. I know because I'm a violinist, I know the G, uh, open G is 55, A is 69, E is 76, that's all kind of I know, and I, you know, I can't keep track of all the you know, numbers, so 
uh, when I'm performing, I usually like to see the uh, note name, so you know I don't have to use uh, the brain, my limited brain as is. So here, so that's how uh, integer can send in to um, be sent in to uh, make note. Okay. So now I want to make some random noise because that's what the computer does best. I shouldn't say that, but that's true. Um, so random. Okay, so middle C is 60, octave mm. below is uh, 48, and then 36, and I don't have it here. I can um, make a new one, but I'm just going to send in directly the number so I can play. Um, so octave below that is 24, and I think in real life 88 key piano, I think it's A is the lowest, right? I think it's 21. So you can, of course, go down to... Oh my gosh, right? It's really, really low. But it doesn't exist in real life, um, a real keyboard. So, I mean, of course, you can use that kind of a sound, but uh, you want to hear a little uh, higher note. So if I'm sending a um, random note from 0 to 9, can you imagine how that's all you get? So what you want to do here is to offset it meaning uh, determining the lowest note. So you can do arithmetic in um, max, which scares a lot of people, including myself. But now I'm going to add 60, which is middle C, right? So it's going to be nine, uh, zero to uh, random 0 to 9, adding to 60. So here is going to be right? 10 notes above 60. If you want to see this, here. it's all redundant, but anyway, see? 60 to 69, I think. That's the random note you get, because I just added 60. You can change the arithmetic of uh, plus 60 by here, change this argument to the plus, I want uh, octave below, so now this has been replaced, uh, 60 has been replaced by 48, now it's going to be nine, uh, 0 to 9, 48 to um, 57, I guess, right, still 10 notes with a, with a different uh, um, uh, root note, or root note or the uh, minimum value. And this is awfully limited, um, but I'm just going to now connect the metro because I'm tired of clicking it. So I'm going to turn it on the metro and look. See, now I don't have to click it. It's giving you a metronome, right? And I can change these in real time. So I want an even lower note. So. These are the notes, uh, two octaves below middle C plus 10 notes. And this range is getting tiring, so I want a bigger range of random. So I can change this 10 to maybe uh, now 30 notes above two octaves, uh, two octaves below middle C, or even 40 notes. See? It's terribly exciting, but it's not. <laughs> It can be better. So you can change your metronome speed or okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So now right now I have only one note that's doing crazy thing. Um, but you can actually make a chord out of it by adding more notes, such as, let's add, oops, what did I do here? I can add, for example, fifths, seven semitones. So it's going to be, right, a little faster. sick and tired of the fifths, of course, and then you can change them. 
third, octave, above, knee music, <laughs> okay, anyway, so you can do things like that.